Welcome back folks. Today we are going to jump in here and we are going to go spend probably all of our money because we are going truck shopping. I said in the last episode we were going truck shopping. We only have one Freightliner dealership open. We are going to buy online. So we don't have the bigger ones open yet. So we are going to go for the 48 inch sleeper. But we're going to upgrade. We are going to change that to the 72. There we go, there we got some room. Six by two long. Man, this thing doesn't turn for anything. Can't do a mini because it's too big of a sleeper. So we're either doing a six by four long or a six by two. I think we're gonna just stay with the two and try to get that up more and some of these other ones up more with the engine transmission package. We don't have a ton of money to spend here. See, they are calling for a 450. Uh, I guess it's a little bit the other way. We gotta go a little bit the other way. Big cam kills us. Kills are normal. We are looking for the sweet spot on cargo. helping us though. So we may just have to stay with the one that they're offering. Because we're already at 162,000. speed but we want an 18 and here to the 18s yeah we got a ton of transmission mods in here normal up but kills us in the rest. We need something that's gonna keep us in this sweet spot. Well that one's looking good. some but 
apparently that's not going to go up. Once you get the long, long chassis, kind of kills the maneuverability. Let's see, we're looking at the 3.42. So 4.11 give us, nah, that's too much. Killing us the other way, so we know we want the 3.42. We want this one. All right, let's hit the interior. We are liking the midnight look, but we were liking. gauges there so we have to bump it up just a little we already know what paint job we want we are going with this one so let's get to the accessories and spend the other 35 grand we got we're not feeling that chrome bumper we're feeling the painted because it puts the graphics into a little better perspective but do we like the chrome grill I like the chrome grill. Everything else is kind of already upgraded here somewhat. We are going to want the corner deflectors. The door handles are already upgraded. If we go with black, what's that look like? Keep the upgraded ones. Side skirts. We want painted. Tie that in just a little bit better. We definitely want. The Arrow X. I think we'll stay with the Arrow. Put the Arrow topper on there. Mud flaps. Let's see what do we got for the arrow? I don't think we're feeling those. I think we're just feeling that. Top up exhaust on. Yes, we can. Woo! We're about 28 grand to go. Yeah, we like those wheels. No, not tires, wheels. How much is, how much is a chrome one's gonna cost us though? Pro 
Roman it out. Now it only cost us ten bucks, ten bucks extra per wheel. That's not bad. We never use the side mirror. How's it look though? For cosmetics. Eh, doesn't look bad. We'll check it out when we get in get inside though. What do we got here? Horns? Nope, we can't put horns up there now because we got the arrow on. Not compatible with the top, so we're not gonna have an air horn this this trip. And if we do, they must be tucked under. So let's hop on in the cab and let's pimp out this ride. Start up top here. We definitely need a CB because. Every good truck has a CB in it, especially when there's emergencies. Definitely don't want that. Let's head on down here. Code driver plate, yeah, we want those. All them easy pass things, computer markers. better pink teddy bear I think we might leave the old pink teddy bear up there what do you think you know we need an air freshener in here Keep that new truck smell going. We're gonna want some drinks, so we're gonna get a couple waters. here we want our we want our duffel bag so it's right there easy to grab when we go take a shower Let's 
Put a random picture back there of our family. Blanket back there. I'll throw a trucker pillow back there. of water wasn't there yeah that one looks better oh hold the phone Case of water back there. Just a couple more things to throw in here. Because we're at 200 grand already. Yeah, throw some stickers up on our fridge. Who doesn't like the American Eagle? The Bald Eagle. Uh, let's throw a taco sticker up there. Throw that trucker sticker up there. Yeah, we'll throw a Goodyear sticker up there. How about that? And then on that back wall. These look nice, but you can't really see it all that well. And I don't know if it comes on with the lights. Yeah, backlit. So, I don't, I don't know if I want that back there. I think we're just going to throw a guitar up on the wall. Because that looks good. I think we are done customizing our truck. Nope, there's one more thing we need to put in here. We're not changing front mirrors, nope. Not changing the steering wheel. We are, a, though, we are gonna take our little buddy for a ride. All right, it's gonna be not so little. We are taking Rex with us. Not not so little. Pretty big. Actually, we might not take Rex with us because he's kind of blocking our view. We can't see out those mirrors. Sorry, buddy. We're not going to be able to take you with us. Terrible. We're gonna have to throw our map over there because we know how these GPSs are. Sometimes they don't tell you nothing. Recalculating. So that's gonna be our truck. That's the interior. Let's hop back on out here to the Turn those 
lights on. Wish we had some more lights on the side, but we can't put those in. So that is going to be our new truck. We're going to have that dropped off at our at our garage. Still don't think I like these. Kind of looks dopey back there without a trailer. You know what I mean? gonna hop back in here we are gonna purchase this ride and we are gonna leave ourselves with about twenty five grand in the bank so we are gonna hit confirm we are gonna hit purchase and we are gonna want that delivered to our Phoenix location as soon as I can get my mouse to work there we go I already have insurance on it it'll be delivered to our garage in Phoenix and that, my friends, is how you spend 200 grand shopping online for a brand new truck. So now we are going to have to hit the pavement and do some hauling. So that's going to be the end of today's episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. See what's to come. Future videos. Once again, I put this one together because I threw it out there in the last video. So we just wanted to get it in there just in case everybody said, yeah, let's see the build. We want to see the build. So there you have it. Once again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for helping the channel grow. And you all have a great day. Yes, I know, folks, that makes absolutely no sense. He's pulling a regular tractor trailer body with a Ford F-350.
There's the old truck. Current truck and the new truck that we will be bringing out shortly. So, once again, Thanks for watching. Have a great day.